Oh, blue it's hair. Curly. My choice! Yes. <laughs> My choice! It's her! <laughs> it's she, her! Yeah. <laughs> Welcome to Out and About, everyone. It is Monday, April 8th, and um, we're hanging on by a thread. I have a heating pad on. I am menstruating. I'm in a rugby Hard, shirt. Harder than ever. Because I'm going through a midlife crisis. Diego had a hell of a weekend. He was actually helping the rest of his family cross the border. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. her, and his mother's, his, his, his um, abuela's house coat got snagged <laughs> on one of the... <laughs> on one of the <laughs> <laughs> and rips right off of her. So Abuela, now, now Abuela's not good in the water. <laughs> so they usually go under the razor wire. Now she got caught trying to scale the fence. And our sweet Vincenzo is um, in a Carhartt shirt. Yeah, he's, it's a nice. He's trying to look extra butch. Did you eat though. carbs this weekend? So many carbs. I, I can tell. I had so many pizzas. I had... Uh, did you eat Brenna? I did eat Brenna. Nice. I did. <laughs> nice. <laughs> Diego, nice. <laughs> Diego, did you eat any pussy this weekend? Stop. Absolutely, <laughs> absolutely. Yeah. Joey, same question. No, I did not. I am on. I'm menstru. I, I'm on infertility pills. Did I tell you? Well, that doesn't mean the mouth can't work, baby. No, I t- I'm on a new medication. I read it. I, I put it on my Instagram this weekend. He's on paleo. I am on paleo yeah. diet, but I also have this pill they're taking, and it's for. Inf- can you Google what it is? Clomid. It's for women to take when the, um, to, to increase their egg, uh, their egg um, reproduction. I'm going to go out on a limb here Read and it. say that you need a new doctor. <laughs> Read this. <laughs> Your doctor misgenders you to the point where he's giving you fertility? <laughs> <laughs> he goes, you're, you're in such a deep fake. He goes, honey, you're not menstruating right. <laughs> Read what it says. Uh, Clomid is a non-steroidal fertility medicine. It causes the pituitary gland, which I don't believe men have, no. to yeah, release not, to release. Oh, everyone does to release hormones needed to stimulate ovulation. <laughs> <laughs> You're you go in. <laughs> Hold on. Clomid is used to cause ovulation in women with certain medical conditions, such as polycystic ovary syndrome not- that prevent naturally occurring <laughs> ovulation. Now, now, now we'll oh. ovulate. <laughs> now, I've got, now I'm got. on the crosswinds of gender. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know what, where I'm going. I'm going up or down. I, I, I'm going through my changes. Like I'm all over the map. Now I'm getting bloating. I imagine the doctor like went into the back and they like they had a huddle. They go, so we don't know what they are. <laughs> and I'm not chancing it. I'm not chancing. You know, I'm gonna give. Last three- one went down there. I saw both sets. <laughs> now, he was intersex. But I'm gonna give him 300 milligrams of clomid and just throw. I'm gonna start throwing things at the wall. <laughs> See what sticks. See what they don't sticks. know what to make of my gender. My blood work's coming back all whack, whack a doodle. You go. Are you on anything? So I take testosterone. They go. I'm sorry. <laughs> None of it makes sense. Sense. Take club and it's like, are you actively seeking pregnancy? <laughs> you go in, you go in just to see if you see if you're still passable. You go in as a full woman <laughs> to try and get club in. That's how that's how you see. That's how you know you still got it. Is now, if you can get past your as a woman. age, I shouldn't be really, or shouldn't really be trying. You're you're about to go through your changes, ma'am. A lady your age really shouldn't be trying to uh, procreate. You deep fake your doctor. <laughs> So now I'm on it. I'm on a fertility drug now that I'm trying to, trying to get my eggs in a row. Literally, my duck eggs in a row here. And I'm getting bloating now. And you know that little pooch I that's, have? That's not bloating, babe. That's a baby in your That's a baby in your Well, stomach. you know they say that little pooch I have there. Oh, that's actually a, when a woman comes her time, it's to protect my uterus. Oh, that's not. God. That is not a gut. Come on. Let me feel. No, but it's tender. She's it's, kicking. It's tender. <laughs> Um, so yeah, so I'm ovulating, I'm growing eggs. And why I actually, does like, did they actually give you a reason why? Or are you just, you'll take anything that old doc, the Dr. Patel throws at you? You'll take, <laughs> you'll take anything you got. My doctor's Mexican, believe it or not. Interesting. Now does Chavez. <laughs> that explains a lot. That's actually Diego's uncle. Mm-hmm. Um, no, that, he's, uh. he, this, that's not my, that's not who described this. My, my, your, um, my endocrinologist um, gave me that. Jesus Christ! You, it's for it's for it's it's trying to figure out my it's a it's a gender reaffirming it's a gender for affirming pill. That's going I'm the taking. wrong way. Don't you want to be more manly? No, there's, no, a, there's you, a, it gets me twixt in the system. You get <laughs> but when you take steroids, you'll take that after a cycle to get your hormones regulated. Oh, so if you're too high on T, that'll bring you back? No, it's like if you're too low. So it's like 
when people when you take tes- when you take steroids, your testosterone artificially goes high because you're feeding it testosterone. Yes. So your body shuts off natural production. You stop because it's someone else is giving it to. Yeah, this makes my body actually produce instead of getting right. it from like trans people have to women trans women trans men, pardon. <laughs> don't make their own testosterone so then you want yes. to, once you start giving it to your body uh, uh, synthetically it stops making it because it says oh we're getting it from somewhere else we don't need to do it so if you right. stop it all together this makes forces your body to make its own <laughs> yeah. so not, not the, the call's coming from inside the house <laughs> point of privilege yeah. <laughs> point of privilege <laughs> Unfucking real. Just wait to see where this takes us. <laughs> yes, I'm sure. I'm sure. I'm sure Nana's already regulated mood is gonna be great in a little week. Should you just take steroids? Maybe I used to shoot That'd him up with sick. steroids. I'm trying to do that. You should. That'd be cool. Have you seen me shoot him up before? No. I would t- I, every Roy's? Tuesday. Yeah, I'd shoot him with steroids. Roy's. I'm saying like D ball. Uh, like give him. Oh, like, you're talking about gear. Yeah, like give him gear. Yeah, that's <laughs> what I'm saying. <laughs> Should I get? Ge- do you want to get geared up with me? Someone at the gym already offered it to me. To, uh, you probably thought about it. What that was it the tank share or was it under the No, I actually had to take it straight from the tap. <laughs> <laughs> I thought about taking some some people here is open about his steroid use, right? I don't why know is if it he taboo? Is. If if everyone can talk about their, their narcotic yeah. use here, why is steroid use taboo? Um because everyone it's says illegal. That. If you're it's only illegal if you're trying to be in a professional sport. Is no, it? No, no, like you're still—it's still, it's like, still technically it's illegal. And it's, but why do they make it then? Like it's not because it has medical purposes. I know, but yeah. So it's, so it's not illegal. It's like I'm—it's—it's I'm t- it's a legal drug. You're just, they're not prescribed for it though. Well, that's like yeah. I mean, that's like all. Medication. But like people they take like drugs. like horse testosterone and shit to like people take crazy things. Yeah, we'll have to bleep his name. So I don't know if he's okay with this. His balls shrunk. A millimeter. Mine are supposed to grow. Now I could tell from the size of them in my mouth <laughs> that they were just a little bit shy of where they used to be. Oh! <laughs> <laughs> I say <laughs> balls. He explodes. <laughs> um, no, I think you know, mine are supposed to grow because um, that's going to have trouble with my new tucking panty disorder, though. What are you going to do? What are you going to do? Um, what was I going to say? The, this fucking eclipse. Why is this even a big deal? Because it only happens once every ten years or something. But what even? Because all the idiots it? are going to go blind. So, but this—the <laughs> last time this happened was in 2017, and it's like people are buying flights to go see this. You can buy an eclipse flight where you're in the air. It's for actually the cool. Of it. It's like the people that go to like to like Burning Man go to this. You go to wherever it is, yeah. and you sit on the bet. You see on the beach, and you watch it happen. Um, basically, it's like either like the other planet going in front of the sun, or uh, it's not the Earth going because we are the Earth. It's what's the planet? It's is the it? moon. Is it's a planet the or the moon? It's, it's the, moon. the moon. Solar eclipse. The moon. The moon goes over the sun. Yeah. Yeah. Moon blocks the sun. So ninety. So here's some. This like all the going, Airbnbs are fully booked. Yeah, ninety-two thousand Airbnb and VRBO rentals are booked within like the path of the eclipse. So it's all gonna go. Where is it? Are we gonna see it? It's gonna go from Texas straight up through that Bible Belt, through the Rust Belt, all the way up. Oh, to so the we're northeast. not gonna see it over here. I think you just don't see it perfect. We'll see it, but these people will see it perfect. Um, Ten percent above cost. So people, wow, Airbnb really bumped this up. Forty-four million dollars in sales. Do you know how Airbnb started and why they call it Airbnb? Why? May I tell everyone? Yeah, please. It was. Uh, forget, forgive me, I'm wrong. I know what it stands for, but I think it was either like during festival season or a time like with the concerts and stuff like that. These two group of guys wanted needed somewhere to stay, so they would put air mattresses on the floor at at this at this uh, their friends' houses, and they would let people sleep on their floor. Um, on the air on the air mattress, huh. and so they call it an Airbnb, like bed and breakfast. They call it Airbnb because it was the air mattress on the floor, and they would. That's what happened. That's just there. a little fun fact from Nana. I'm gonna look into the fucking See? sun. Bare eyes. Rented out air mattress in the apartment and attendees for local conferences. Do you ever hear the thing about um, Bam <laughs> about Airbnb? They have a whole department that's a P, an internal PR department that's made to cover up violent crimes that happen at Airbnbs because it happens so frequently. It was like a whole well, 60 yeah. minutes I, I on thought it. there was going to be one uh, when I stayed at. I th- we almost had a fight in Intruder in Nashville. Why? Yeah. I found out afterwards people said, people were like, oh, were you staying at these, the ones over here, like in this area? I was like, yeah. And they're like, that's typically bachelorette parties will stay there. So people know that. And my someone woke me up. They're like, there's an intruder in the house. And I like, I know I heard somebody trying to get in the house. And I was like 2 a.m. It's legal to have a gun there, right? Yeah. Just fucking uh, pop their head off like a cherry stem. I didn't have one. <laughs> What Shoot am I him. gonna do? But I, I thought I was getting my, the Airbnb broken into when I was there. It's That's brutal. scary. My apartment building is out of control. White trash. It's on this. Well, beautiful I told you the street. West Village is disgusting. It is Friday night. There was. I heard my neighbor upstairs. <laughs> Friday night, I heard my neighbor upstairs like screaming. I was like, "What the fuck?" This. I don't even, I'm afraid of this guy. He's huge. How many people? I thought this is a brownstone. There's only four buildings no, in your building. Brown, no brownstone. There's like. 
there's probably I think there's like eight or nine units, and all of them are problematic except yours. The, except mine. I heard this guy screaming upstairs. He got into a fight with his brother. But I thought the upstairs neighbor was the woman that stomps. I'm on the first floor. There's like ten floors above me. So he was he was above that. He was fighting his neighbor, and then I hear him open his window and yell, "God, strike me down!" I'm like, like the "What fuck? the fuck is going on?" So those liberals you live with. Literally, I had to call. I called nine one one. I was like, "Someone's <laughs> getting killed upstairs." Like we already have calls, and then this fucking guy is going nuts. Cops run upstairs, get him out. They bring him onto the front porch, and they're like talking this guy. Were you in your ledge. house coat, looking out the window? I was literally. <laughs> I was in. I was in my jammies. You were like, in, in Abuela's torn. Uh, <laughs> house I was coat. in my jammies like this. It was this much of a sliver in the in the blinds, and I was like this. Did you videotape it? <laughs> I have four minutes of videotape. Can we hear it? Let me yeah. hear it. Let me hear the drama. I'll, sh I'll show you after, but it's like, it's dark. I was like this, and then the ambulance guy pulled up, and he looked at me, and I quick went, <laughs> shut the blind, and went in. It was, but, and then that was brutal, and I'm like, okay, this guy is like nuts, and so then the following night, these lesbians moved in across the hall from me. Now, you know they're li downstairs from you. Yes. Who was living across from me before? So there's, when you walk in, it's me here. My right. good neighbor and then the new apartment in the back, which is the lesbian. Who was living there when you first moved in? No idea. And so this girl had what a What type of lesbians are we talking about? The worst. Can you identify them? Yes. The worst kind. Keep going. Describe them and I'll tell Bull you. This. Fat. Extreme. <laughs> extreme. There's the ones that fight. No, oh, God, no. I wouldn't have fucked them. They are extreme liberal. Extreme feminist. Oh, blue ex hair. Curly. My choice! Yes. <laughs> My choice! It's her! It's she, her! Yeah. Those are the types of fucking... Like, if you like... A violent Oregon fucking um, uh, f um, protest... They're protest... Yeah. They're anti... Wall What's it? Uh, uh, they're Occupy Wall Street. Wall <laughs> Wall Wabby Road. Wavy Road. Yeah. But they were, they were so loud. I was like, you know what? It's Friday. But are they both fat? No, but like they're so good. That, so this Harry will, this will paint a picture. I'm sure this will paint a picture. The following morning, <laughs> I walked out of my house at 11 a.m. and she was reading a book on the front stoop. There's a scene in Animal House where a guy's playing a guitar on the stairs, mm -hmm. and Jim Belushi or John Belushi uh, sees him. He walks by and then he turns around and grabs a guitar and smashes it over his head. I wanted to take the book and beat her to death. It with could it. have been a typewriter. <laughs> in fact, could have been a lot worse. Yeah, I know. But this woman was having a party so loud. I go, all right, it's Saturday night. Whatever. Clams out, party. girls. Clams out. But the problem is they were so loud in the hallway. Like it sounded like eighth graders who had had their first drink of alcohol ever in, out, in, out. 4 a.m. They're in front of the apartment. And I'm like, all right. Are they smoking cigarettes on the front steps? I don't know what they were doing. They were just being fucking. It, Bleed his, both of those words. His please. bedroom is also like right there. So it, they, were basically, they were basically in my bedroom. Yeah. <laughs> so I would never open, have a woman in my bedroom. Did you open the door? Bleep those two words. What? <laughs> did you open the door? So I go, if it happens again, I got to do something. So 3.30 in the morning, I hear him come in. Bang! Open the door. I go, fuck it. I'm in bed. I'm completely naked. <laughs> I get up. I run to the front door. I quick wrap a towel around me. I'm like, I'm going to catch him. And I open the door and it was a guy. And a girl. And it wasn't I, them. It wasn't them. But I yelled at them anyway. I go, because they were loud as fuck. I go, I go, hey, do you guys mind? You're loud as fuck. And this was all the anger. Obviously, I said it like a little crazier than that. With your shirt in a towel? In a t no, I like had like, I think I had like a sleep boner too. I was like kind of like behind the door <laughs> like this. I go, you, I just pull my, I go, hey, and my dick is outside the door. <laughs> I go, whoa, there's a little top hat on it. <laughs> I do puppeteer. Yeah, <laughs> like googly eyes on it. And this guy, I go, you've been quiet. The girl, oh, she goes, grow up. And I was like, the blood that boiled through my body when she said that. And then the guy, I think, like looked at me and sized me up. Now he, now he doesn't know I got a, I got a bad wing. Yeah. Okay. And it's the first time where I've been like, okay, this guy would kick my ass, like a little bit scary. He was like, oh, whatever, dude. And I was like, Ugh. and they and live I just there, the or they're visiting. I think he was going to smash the girl upstairs. But the point is, that was her house. I yelled at the wrong person. <laughs> they basically took the wrath of the <laughs> of the lesbians. And then I saw her the next morning on the stoop, and part of me was like, the one that you yelled at. No, the lesbian who I didn't. But it's like what the saying is like you catch more bees with honey than you do vinegar. Like you want to try and well, be also nice your first. family, and if something breaks in the house, they'll be able to fix it. Yeah, I don't know. So it was like I don't know what to do. I'm moving basically. I'm moving in November. I can't do the sound. 
I thought it would be cool to live down there. Just the noise is too mm-hmm. much. Are you able to? Much. Yeah, I'll be able to move. You can get out of the lease? I'll enlist the Well, my list will end then. Oh, okay. And I'll enlist the help of everyone's favorite real estate broker, Amanda C. Baum, who helped Joey out tremendously. But yeah, that was that was my drama of the night. And I was like going back and forth from the peephole to the window probably 100 times to like see who's who. So that's the show. And uh, <laughs> thank you for coming. Introducing Way's new anti-frizz cream. If you're too busy to be frizzy, grab Way's new anti-frizz cream. It's a lightweight cream that provides immediate frizz control that lasts up to 72 hours. Get busy being frizz free with Waze new anti frizz cream. I tried this. I don't really have frizzy hair, but um, the little bit of frizz that I do have has completely gone away. I gave some of this stuff to my mom and my sister, and they swear by it. Me and Snoopy uses. I mean, Snoopy were on a very big shoot the other day, and I used it on her. First of all, it smells amazing, yeah. and I like to do it after the blowout. It's done. I just kind of add it to. Um, I had a meeting with these people over at Away, and she told me all about it. I met with the scientists oh. over at Way, and it is. Good for anything. You can use it as a finishing cream. You can use it when your hair is damp before you blow it out, and that'll help control frizz and give a smoother appearance. It really and it smells amazing. You can use it a little bit. It's lightweight. It doesn't weigh your hair down. Helps reduce split ends while quenching hair, dry hair with intense hydration. You'll be way obsessed with Way's Best Seller, leave-in conditioner, detox shampoo, fragrances, and more. Frizz free up your schedule with Way. Go to T H E O U A I dot com and enter promo code about for 15% off any product. That's the way dot com. Promo code about for 15% off any product. What was your drama of the weekend? The, uh, the drama of the weekend was um, I hate everyone here and <laughs> no one came to my party. <laughs> what are you talking about? I invited everyone to a party and no one came. That was the first time he actually did invite yeah, everybody. That was the first <laughs> time. Yeah. If I remember correctly, the last time you invited me to a party was when the party was already halfway through. Well, you're lucky I got invited before the started. <laughs> um, yeah, everyone dropped out slowly but surely. Um, it was a late invite, to be fair. It was, six six thirty on a Friday. You say come over. I that didn't was say that. It wasn't six thirty. It was a little before six thirty. It was. Three, it was like it middle was three of the day. o'clock. Yeah, we, it was a little. Before ladies, we have receipts. Two forty one. Two forty one. I remember because I, I responded like seven, like which is way later. Well, I had a date, so I couldn't have gone anyway. I was in Connecticut. Okay. Well. <laughs> I just I just told Brenna I wasn't going out, so I couldn't do that. But How does that work? Out. So if you tell your girlfriend you can't go out, or no, you don't want to, if you said you don't want to go out with her friends, but then you go out with yours, yeah. then you're the bad guy. Yeah, that's fair. Yeah, mm. she wouldn't even like give me that much shit, but that's just like that's like a diss to her friends, you know? Really? Yeah. Do well, like, are the guys are there guys, or you have to ha- hang out with all those hens chir- <laughs> chirping around? I would have been. Yes, yeah, so would have been the latter. It would have been just me as the only. Oh, so, okay. so then why would she? Oh, why would she? Yeah, why would she there? there? She's gonna ruin. You're gonna ruin the time for her friends by being. There. No, I'm the life of the party. They want me there. I guarantee half of them don't want you. Well, there. that's why I don't go. That's why I don't go. <laughs> <laughs> was she mad at you? No. Is she mad at us? No. I no. I actually asked her. I was like, they make fun of you a lot this episode. Let me know if they're going too far. She's like, no, it's funny. So oh. you're free to make fun of her. Fucking bitch. <laughs> I go, the floor is yours. <laughs> Joey, Joey pulls out, he pulls his hair back. <laughs> no, I don't mind her. No, she's great. We love Brenna. We never um, met her, but we love her. I met her once. I met her. She came to my live show. That's right. Speaking of live shows. <laughs> oh, yeah, we don't need to, to plug it again. Just buy the tickets. Well, is anyone buying tickets yet? Yeah, people are buying How tickets. How do you know? I think all of our, all of our VIPs are sold out. You think... But Correct. we have no way of knowing anything. We do. We just have to send an email. When are you sending the email? I mean, we can talk about this off the show whenever. I mean, I can, I can send the email. <laughs> I want I want to I want to I'll guilt these women into buying tickets. Yeah, no. We have uh I know that Pat can't VIP, afford to move unless you buy tickets. No, literally, yeah. Uh VIP Buffalo is sold out. Um Atlanta VIP is sold out. Boston VIP is sold out. Charleston VIP, there's a few left. Where else are we going? <laughs> you said, but then you said you didn't never never ask them, so you don't know. Well, I just like go online. I do like deductive reasoning. I don't want to like email with them, so I'll go onto the website and be like, buy this ticket. And they'll be like, oh, there's only two left. Or there's only three left. Um, where else are we going? Nashville. Yes. And where's the other one? Boston. <laughs> Boston. All right. So that's going good. You can buy tickets at nowshewilltour dot com. That's nowshewilltour dot com and support our small business. Thank you. Uh, uh, I'll go what? ahead. Then. I was going to ask about the earthquake. <laughs> oh. Oh, who gives a fuck? No, I didn't Joey feel, didn't feel it. I didn't, I didn't feel, feel it either. either. So yeah, it felt like a Bullshit. plow. You know, like a plow will like hit the curb. It felt like that. You felt it. Yeah. Where were you? Uh, in my bed. Where were you? I had. 
it literally happened as I was going to walk Hendricks. I was in the elevator. And then Brenda was calling me. She's like, did you hear that? The whole fucking building was shaking. I was like, I didn't hear any, I feel anything. What are you talking are about? Are you on a high floor? Sixth floor. Wow. But yeah, no, I just didn't, didn't uh, feel anything in the elevator. I was in my room. I was in my caster mattress, and I didn't feel a damn thing. I was. I think it was a shock absorbing mattress. I didn't feel anything. That was the first time it went off, and the second time I was in the bathroom putting on concealer. I didn't know there was an aftershock. There was no a sec- a second earth. Second earthquake. Yeah. There was oh, there was a whole another one. Yeah. Mm-hmm. I was hoping for a tsunami. But how not, gra- but how we, great would that have been? You can't have a tsunami in Manhattan. <laughs> There's not a beach. Don't you Book need actual that. actual waves like that to have a tsunami? No, you no, got a tsunami fucking. Well, I, yeah, I don't think a beach matters. It's just we're by the ocean, like. But we're not by the ocean. We're by the we're by whatever it is. The bay. Are we in a bay? Where no. is New York City? River, river, river. Yeah. No, but like, what goes ba- out past Ellis Island? Is there like a big barrier? No, that's the Let's river that out. goes into. No, there's the Hudson, the East River. They both go down, and then they go down into the ocean. But like, how much of a barrier is there? Remember when Trump said he wanted to nuke the tropical storm? Yeah. Oh, we could get fucked up by a tsunami. Ah, uh, no. Uh, I don't think nah, so. There's not enough. Yeah. Ba- you can't. You can't get enough. You can't get a pullback for it to get that high of a wave. Yeah. Staten Island would get destroyed. Fire Island. No, Fire. like down, like like Long Thank Island. God, Long Island, Island would get it. Long Island would get it. Yeah. Long Island would get it bad. They did get it. Fucking Sandy. Sandy's so white trash. Hurricane Sandy. <laughs> that is white trash. Do you know what I mean? What's the big? What's the most white trash natural disaster? Mudslide. <laughs> <laughs> Flash flood. Flash floods are white trash. Um, quicksand. <laughs> quicksand. <laughs> Only hillbillies get stuck in quicksand. Yeah. I got caught in. I, I was. I was stuck mudding, and a flash flood came. <laughs> flash floods are trash. Um. Oh, what does she do? Did she? Did, did Uncle Portnoy d- donate on. money? <laughs> oh, we. Uh, hey, Lynette. Up? Hold on. Hold on. Hold on. We'll get to that in a second. What else is white trash for disasters? Um. Uh, oh, tornado or her? Uh, a tornado? Oh, yeah, a, a twister. Tw- a twister. Oh, a twister. <laughs> <laughs> twister. If you got a twi- if you can see a twister, a, sh- a double shoot coming. Is there a difference? A tornado and a twister. I think a twister is a little bit more um, Helen Hunt. Cone ha- shape. Helen Hunt has to defeat a twister, whereas tornadoes just stop. Difference between tornadoes and a vertical rapid spiral air. Save the children in the UK. Oh, dust storm. Dust storm. Hmm. Dust storm for sure is white trash. You know what else is white trash? Looking at a solar eclipse and getting excited <laughs> about it. Or that has more like Wiccan, like witch energy. Yeah. If you're like, ooh, what is this? I saw so many things online. Like, what does the eclipse mean for your horoscope? Well, don't you have to get, and that's the other thing. It's like you have to buy these special glasses that are made by the Chinese government to even see them. And then next so thing it's you like, know. Well, yeah, you can't look. I'm just confused with that. You can look at it. It's just yeah, you hurt your eyes. It's supposed to protect your eyes and so you can still be able to see it. But it's like, if you have to buy something to look at it, it's not Mother Mother Nature would tend on it in the first place. Yeah. NASA was saying animals all act weird, too, because yeah. of it. Yeah, they act weird what about before non, a hurricane. What about non-gendered people taking um, infertility <laughs> pills? <laughs> <laughs> you de- you deep-faking your gender at your doctor is the funniest fucking thing. It's she! <laughs> <laughs> they see the T-scars, the inverted penis. <laughs> <laughs> you go, it's she, her! <laughs> they don't know what to make of me at this point. Here you go. Here's uh, how the solar eclipse will affect your... Soul. <laughs> One high heel shoe on. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I need to go to Whole Foods after this. <laughs> yeah. I, have a, I have a buffalo chicken meatloaf I have to make. <laughs> My boyfriend's waiting. What are you, a Sagittarius? Capricorn. Capricorn. Here's how the Capricorn, how the eclipse will affect Capricorns. If you're a Capricorn. <laughs> oh, here we go. Oh, this is actually true for you. Lately, you prefer spending time at home to running around town. Ah, uh, yes. Nesting and connecting with your dwelling can be a rewarding experience. In fact, you might consider hosting a dinner party with a few friends what? to enjoy good times. <laughs> if they fucking don't, the, come, don't show up, though. Are you fucking ghostwriting on the Today Show? <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> So that's how it's going to affect you, I guess. What is yours? Me yelling at the wrong lesbian neighbor? (laughs) Yeah. You will attack the wrong neighbor twice. (laughs) If you're itching for an adventure or eager to break free from your mundane routines and responsibilities, try embarking on a low-key trip to an unfamiliar place. (laughs) The dark room of Rainbow Room. (laughs) Um, The key to having an enjoyable and authentic experience is not the destination itself, but the company you keep. This doesn't say how that is going to affect it. The solar eclipse offers a chance to heal from the past. What is Diago's? What's yours, DD? 
What my tour? Yeah. Oh, Dee Dee Bird's tour. Oh, February seventh. When's that? You don't know your sign? No, Aquarius. Is that what it is? February seventh is an Aquarius. Yes. Yeah. It is. Um. <laughs> Wait, what? <laughs> You've. <laughs> I had an opportunity to make some jokes, but I didn't do it. You've been pouring the best of you into other people. While it's admirable to be so giving, remember you take care, remember to take care of yourself well, to take a break rather than constantly running around trying to please everyone else. Remember when I pissed on you with holy water in my house? <laughs> <laughs> What's your sign, Ben? Sagittarius. It's yeah. the same one. Is that what we just did? No, no I was Aquarius. I was Aquarius. Oh, oh yeah. yours is Sagittarius. Oh, no. Sagittarius says, to fully enrich your eclipse counter, consider taking your shirt off while recording the podcast. <laughs> 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 Whether it's capturing the eclipse through photography or painting or expressing your own emotions through writing. Imagine Vinny starts, Vinny starts water painting with his dick. <laughs> <laughs> Watercolors. Shape your unique perspective of the world with the world. None of this makes sense. I don't believe in signs. Oh, I do. They're 100% true, just like you read my sign. Yeah, your sign. That was ghostwritten, babe. Let's watch this clip. Gypsy Rose, you guys, we talked a little bit about it uh, last um, week. She got divorced. Joey waited. Just so you know, this Friday, she will be going undergoing rhinoplasty in Louisiana. Should we be there? I mean, if you like to. Um, her husband spoke out for the first time and said he was blindsided. I, by... I, po I posted it. <laughs> you, po you posted to Maine? Yeah, this is me posting. Hey, I just want to say thank you all for the support. And the and the nice messages I've been getting from people. Uh, I'm at a friend's watching WrestleMania right now. It's great. <laughs> I'm enjoying it. You know, I've been a wrestling nerd for a long time. I ain't nothing cure uh, the blues like some WrestleMania, brother. I need to shave. But he thinks um, these people are actually following him because of know, him. I just want to thank everybody for the support. It's been great. Uh, I'm just living my life, guys. Uh, the D is still see. fire. What really happened on Lifetime. Uh, You'll see it. We were filming a lot. So uh, stay tuned for that. And I just want to thank everybody for the support. Uh, if you support me, follow me. I will post more stuff eventually. Uh, I love how it's open-ended. He's hanging in. I just want to say thank y'all to everybody. And, you know, God bless. God bless you, Ryan. And I think that brings us to our next announcement is Ryan will be joining in a Star Atlanta live show. <laughs> <laughs> well, what's the what closest? Think? I, th I think that he needs to not, he needs to post that thing. I think, I, I guess, I don't know. He's probably heartbroken. Um, but it's to think, him, for him to think that those people, those 370,000 people that are following him are there for, have any qu question or care about who he is or what he's up to, he's fucking dumb because he's only there to just get extra, extra juicy stuff about, about Gypsy. Um, <laughs> about referring to her as first name is so funny as Gypsy. Yeah, <laughs> like she's like she's a pal. She is a pal. Um, I just think I just think he's sadly mistaken. No one cares what you're doing, Ryan. Go back inside and, and delete your account. You're you're, you're, you're done. <laughs> Stop. You're done. You're done. You're done. Uh, his voice is not what I thought it would be. I thought he because he looks does that so, baritone voice turn you on. He looks so gay. I thought he was gonna have like such a gay voice, but he's like he's kind of just the southern. You know, me and Gypsy broke up and down at the jailhouse, things were a little different. And Do better. Get help. And I'm supporting Trump in 2024. And yeah, he needs, he needs to get some help. He do you know my friend? Do you know? All right. What's her name? Garfoyle? The girl, that woman, that Republican lady that's married to one of the Oh, Trumps. yeah, she is hot. Who? That lady. She Who was hanging out with Sophia, Sophia Hutchins the other night. They were kikiing. Caitlin's best friend Sophia, my friend. Oh yes, they were key keying at a, at a at a fundraiser. Her and Garfoyle. So they're dating, oh, right? No, they're not dating. Who? I think you're talking about Caitlyn Jenner's like best friend who's trans. My, she's my friend Sophia. You were friends. Isn't she dating Caitlyn? No. Let me. Oh, okay. This is a completely different person. No, you, everyone thought they were dating, but she's not dating her. <laughs> because our Jess Kirsten went on the Tim Dillon show, and they were talking about Caitlyn and. Caitlyn's girlfriend who is MTF and Caitlyn is FTM and it was like they're, no. they're both like the they're biggest tra anti-trans people in the world and it's oh, so no. funny Sophia is a, a female to male trans they're not anti-trans they're pro common sense um, so who is this lady? she's married to Don, uh, to one of the Trumps what and she's on Fox News? She's yeah, she's been on she Fox News. She did that big time. she did that big she did that big speech last time and she was like screaming, "We are arrived" or something. Look at those knockers. Google the speech. She is um the, the ladies of Fox News have a very specific look. A Luke. 
And and this look encapsulates everything about it. They're always in red. They're always done. Oh, I remember, remember? this. She Looney shouts. Tune. What'd she shoot? Scream. Good evening, America. I'm Look at the wig. <laughs> this part. Oh, you see the audio. Audio. Oh, oh the audio lines go up. That you hope that you believe in. Stand for an American president who is fearless. He she needs bronzer. What kind of hair is that? Extensions. With a twat out. Look at her look at stance. Every citizen can realize their American dream. Ladies and gentlemen, leaders and fighters for freedom. What the? <laughs> what the? Is yet to come. No applause. <laughs> Why is she speaking with the cadence of Martin Luther King? <laughs> <laughs> well, she was Kiki. I have a dream. Oh my God, unbelievable. I was looking up the fat, um, I'm obsessed with women's basketball now after watching it. The fashions of the coaches. Like I you, told you last time, I thought woman. You're gonna be Kim Mulkey for Halloween. There yeah. are, the fashion of these ladies is so fucking incredible. <laughs> um, did, what did Dave win? $2 million this weekend on the women's basketball? Two and a half million dot bucks or something. Oh, uh, UConn yeah. or is that the guys? I think he, no. He gets he, that if they win the championship, they win the championship which happens tonight. It. So by the time this comes out, we'll know if he won. Oh, tonight's a championship. Yeah. Oh god. For men's. Let me take out the bottom. <laughs> <laughs> I can't believe Diego's making you do that. Huh? Well, that is what it is. Yeah, that was good. Do you guys watch that game? Did you watch it? I did. Not. Bay doesn't watch women's. Yes, he does. I watched he, what, it. Did you watch it? A I'm sure bit? it was on. Was yeah. Like, yeah. It was like more entertaining, honestly, than the guys. At poor NC State, that wasn't even fun to watch. That was brutal. That was brutal. Well, they, they throw their hot shit from last year. Yeah. And was it the men's? That was men's. Yeah, that was men's. No, that was that was brutal. They were just too big. The use, was it? Purdue? No, women's. Or, oh, yeah, the girl on um, South Carolina was insane. The huge one? Yeah, she's six seven. Yeah. yeah. Edges on fleek. Yeah, how are you stopping that? What's the tallest man that you would hook up with? Or woman? We'll go, ta we'll go around there and we'll say the tallest and smallest. It wouldn't matter to me. I mean, I would do either one. Seven foot. Yeah, I mean, I don't want to have to get on like a, on a, on a step stool to to kiss him, but but you would. Maybe. What about four foot? I would do. A <laughs> is it a little person? I, mean, I think I think the M word needs to be believed. Za I think that's why Za says it's okay. Za says it's okay, but Za also got like banned from TikTok for using that <laughs> word. So. Yeah, I don't know. What are you up to this weekend? This weekend, it's Tuesday. I have okay. no idea. Oh, I'm going to visit my friend in Connecticut. Where? Yeah, where? What friend? Greenwich. There's no good pizza over there. No, I'm not going to Greenwich. It's in like West Hartford or some shit. This girl I grew up with. Yeah, West oh, Hartford's nice. nice. I went to oh, yeah. college in Hartford. Yeah, I went to college in Hartford. To college what's, in Hartford. Ha what's that? What college? Trinity College. Trinity College. Trinity. Yeah. Maybe I'll go there. Maybe I'll go hang out in the dorms. They, they don't, don't have to go dorms. to my frat. They don't have a frat. What's your frat? What's your frat called? Alpha right. Delta Phi. Alpha Delta. Do you, what's your AD. sign? What's your gang sign? Throw it we out. didn't have one. Nerdy fuck. Do you know no, we, we had a fake? We have never one. went to have one, so I made my own up. It was Fry Delta Coca because fried food. Um, <laughs> <laughs> no, fry Alka Coca. Fry Alka Coca. It was fry fried food alcohol. <laughs> fry Alka Coca. That's not bad. Fry Alka Coca. We gotta bleep that. <laughs> <laughs> um. That's very funny. Fry Alka Coca. No, I don't know what I'm doing this weekend. Oh, I'm, well, I'm going to Connecticut, and that's pretty much it. Why I are think. you going there? For who? We have a t uh, my friend Brittany, who I grew up with. She just bought a house, and she w I'm going to go see her house, and she's got the kid and the dog. It's going to be very fun. So you're escaping the, the hustle and bustle of the West I, Village crack house. Literally, I, I booked my train like after. I was like 4 in the morning. I was like, get me the fuck out of here. I need You a should get a megaphone. Fight fire with fire. That's what I'm Be a louder lesbian than they are. That would be hard to do. They're very loud. I just grossed me out so much seeing her. Just don't, don't publicly read. Don't read on. A, don't read on my stoop. Don't read on. Don't like make it a point to let people did she around have a you cup, know did, that you're on a book. Go on have, your phone. Did she have a cat mug with her? Like you're drinking some tea? Uh, no, uh, she had. A she tumbler, had a, a, a like a like a old lady mug with like really light coffee that I went to throw in her face. Oh, you should have kicked it. I do a full blown. I do a HC. If you've been following Famous Miss Peaches, you know that she's been living her happiest life since being rescued, and she's been spoiled with only the best. The best gifts she received yet, according to her favorite human, Dave, um, Bowling Branch sheets. 
We got Bull and Branch sheets sent to us when this started, and I kid you not, it is the most comfortable sheet I've ever owned. I didn't realize how much of an impact your sheets have on your oh, honey, on I your did. quality. Of, you've known Listen that. to them. I've been using Bull and Branch since I've discovered them. Um, they source their cotton in, um, I believe... It is in India. They source their cotton in, and it, everything is super, super soft. The more yeah. you wash them, the better they get. And girls don't sleep on the waffle blanket. I have it at home. It's my, it's my one of my most luxurious things I have in the house. There, um, a Bowling Branch Signature sheets are a perfect way to start upgrading your sleep. These best-selling sheets feel incredible on night one and get softer with ing- every single wash. And they're made with the finest 100% organic cotton, completely free of toxins. They feel buttery soft yet super breathable, so they're perfect for the warm months ahead. Think about how long you've had the sheets on your bed. It, it's gross. Time to upgrade yourself. Bowling Branch is loved. Buy millions of sleepers. Sleep better with the softest, most breathable bedding from Bowl and Branch during their best discount of the entire season. See for yourself why Bowl and Branch sheets were famous Miss Peach's favorite gift of the night at bowlandbranch.com with promo code ABOUT for 20% off. That's right. Get 20% off your order when you use code ABOUT at bowlandbranch.com. That's Bowl and Branch, B O L L A N D, branch.com. Promo code ABOUT. Exclusions apply. See site for details. <laughs> Morgan Wallen. I love him. This just oh, yeah. Morgan Wallen got arrested Cutie. last night. For what? This looks like Morgan Wallen looks like Feidelberg in this mug shot. Yeah, he does a little bit. Scroll down. Country megastar. That's Feidelberg. That looks nothing like Feidelberg. Let me read the thing. This headline. Country megastar Morgan Wallen was arrested last night for allegedly throwing a chair of a sixth floor balcony that landed at the feet of national police officers. That's just bad luck. <laughs> you want to throw a chair? It lands within I mean, feet of let a police the boy officer. Live. Right? He's a rock star. He's throwing chairs off balconies. Big I'm sure it wasn't deal. a hard chair. It's probably like a plastic little pool chair. He was released from uh, county jail with three counts of felony reckless endangerment. What, what was it? A, a chair made out of fucking nails? No, I'm sure it was You're a chair. You're throwing it from the yeah, roof just, of a bar. That could kill someone. A chair? From the roof of a bar? Yeah, like six stories. So I think we know that Morgan is definitely still on the sauce. Well, he never, never said he wasn't on the sauce. Look, was that be- look at that beautiful Range Rover that picks him up. Talk about getting picked up in style. That's a cop car. No, that's a Range Rover, babe. Rear, ad- Rear Admiral Rear Admiral way- uh, weighs in. If he indeed did this, and it certainly doesn't look like a frame job, he's an absolute fucking donkey. What time was this? 3.30 <laughs> in the morning? They're doing Throws this. Throws a goddamn chair from sixth floor onto the county's busiest sidewalks and just misses police offices. Miracle. Nobody's hurt. Yeah, pretty good. <laughs> this is a cover up from those cops that m- raped and murdered that fucking poor boy that went missing. Okay. He was shown he's fa- found with his pants off and no no water in his lungs. Brutal. What is the water? Yeah, he was murdered. Water. He was that means he wasn't like he didn't dr- drown. He didn't drown. Yeah, he was he killed like, and then thrown yeah. in the water. And he had no pants on. Hmm. That's fucked. I didn't no pants or underwear on. Just, uh, yeah, just wh- why why and no one in his frat is talking yeah, to his yeah, parents. I don't, why do you think yeah. the cops? mean the cops did it? Because the cops are covering up, they said there was no foul play, and then they had second second autopsy, and they saw all the shit was all the shit they were lying about. Yeah, I didn't see all not crazy. scare tourists. This is a What's cover up. Uh, Riley, Riley Strain. Strain. This is a cover up for all that for the, for the bullshit. They're trying to get Morgan some Wallen in there. is in on the deep fake. But yeah, no, this is an insane story. I, I love Nancy, Nancy Grace. Grace. Nancy Grace. Nancy Grace is all time. But why aren't the kids in his frat talking to his family? Because they probably they probably had they probably were all doing drugs together, and they're afraid that they're gonna get found out. I mean, like, that's just Yeah, crazy I think it's the least of your concerns yeah, at, at this point. Yeah, at that point, it's yeah. like, who yeah. cares if you're doing drugs? I didn't know Nancy Grace was still on the air. She's like a a a, a cracked up Paula Dean. I love Paula Dean. Yes. I know. I was thinking about, should I have... Yeah, you got me the best Christmas present ever, the Paula Dean cameo. Should I get a cameo from Paula Dean to start our live shows where he goes, no, not her. hey, she, y'all, Man Mafia, welcome to the show. And we, we, already, we already did that. She, she's going to say that's a bl- that's going to be a business account. So then it's going to charge you like so much money. She won't know. Yes, it will because there's a different kind of thing. It's something like a Happy different birthday. prompt. Yeah. I mean, we already had her. I think we need someone new. I think so. I'm pumped for like, we have some really good guests coming up. Caesar Milan is my absolute dream guest. Why is that? Because I've been watching him for years. I love Caesar. Caesar Milan. Milan is like the goat. He's gonna come in and he'll go, and he'll change that. Your, he'll it. change your whole energy. But I thought it was for dogs. Yeah, but well, you're, as, we, <laughs> as we know, as we know, Nana, he's gonna come in. He goes. Now I sent someone here as part canine. Yeah. <laughs> Who do we have? He's like, is he? A, he's a psychic dog psychic. No, he's a dog behavioral specialist. He, I'm telling you, he is like 
insane. The stuff he does. Like I've been watching him for years. He'll go into like a house where a dog like attacks everyone, and like his energy is so crazy. The dog will walk in and like curl up like in the <laughs> corner and be like, "Who is this fucking guy?" It's hmm. insane. I tried to get Goose for the occasion, but that was shot down. So Goose won't be here. So we're going to have to put Diego on a leash instead. <laughs> well, no, Diego can't because he's already posing as the 13-year-old boy for Chris Hansen. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> How funny. We have him come I in. I already said that. Oh, my God. I didn't know that. How funny would that be? Yeah, we wanna have to, I wanna have, we're going to do a skit, and he's going to have to lure... Um, KFC in here as a 13 year old boy. <laughs> Diego comes, but there's a big table between them. We put a kitchen counter in here. <laughs> Sorry, I just, KFC I get a little, here. did you bring the Mike's Hard Lemonade? <laughs> <laughs> Diego, will you offer Chris, if I get you Mike's Hard Lemonade, will you offer Chris Hansen Mike's Hard when he walks up? Absolutely. <laughs> No, my dad's home. He just went out for a... My parents are at Chili's, so we have a good hour to hang out. (laughs) (laughs) Did you bring the condom and lubes? (laughs) Is that how it normally goes? Uh, Yeah. And then they just like go to the bathroom. And then then, the the cops come out of the bathroom. And Chris Hansen comes out. The cops come out with and put a fucking M16 (laughs) in your face. Um, On the ground, pedophile! No, but I want to ask him what he thinks about these fucking... Guys on the internet that are like chasing people in Walmart That's, saying, yeah, saying yeah. Uh, they're making a mockery of his job. Like, like you're just causing a scene. You're not helping anyone by doing that. You're, you're talking about the people who there's. So if they're fucking losers on the internet. I mean, if they're doing a good thing by calling attention to it and like, but they're not. They're like they're the they're the pet just they're the pedophile hunters. So these people have like TikToks and Instagrams where yes. they they personally go online acting I, like there's like there's something, something wrong sexual with you too. and weird about that. That's what you're in your spare time. You're you're trying to get a trick of fucking pedophile into thinking you're a kid. You're a creep. Yeah, I want to know what he thinks about that too. Did yeah, they get so, them arrested? No, they just make a mockery of them. Of I saw one this then, morning. The guy had a shirt on. It says it. <laughs> he had a shirt on that said, "I am a pedophile. I tried to meet a thirteen-year-old boy," and they had a camera in his face and made him read it. Yeah, and it's almost the like camera. they're making they're making a mockery of this whole thing. If that if that was really, I mean, thank God, there's no there's not really a kid involved because yes. it's, it's all fake. Thank God, there's no child being this, but it's just like like. They're making a mockery of these people that are actually helping people and finding these people and with real real children at danger. And that they're just making a whole joke about it. There's always and making what Chris Hansen's like whole organization or whatever that he does is, is a fucking joke. To there's them. always they're always getting caught in a grocery store. Like they'll always be like, they'll always be like, what are you doing here? What are you doing here? They'll always be, they'll be like, meet me by the fruit (laughs) roll-ups. They'll always be like farting around. They'll be like, uh, they'll be like Calvin. And and he'll be like, he'll be like, he'll be like, uh, yeah. And then you can just, his face goes stark white. Wait, that's so Uh, true. I'm just here to talk. (laughs) I'm just here to talk. (laughs) I'm just here to talk. I I wasn't going to do anything. And then they read up, they go. It says here, <laughs> this is your hard pecker. <laughs> it says here you wanted to wear a diaper and have them shit on your chest. Is that true? I was, I would, I don't know. I don't. Uh, yeah, Christ. It's, it's always a Target or like a Walmart. <laughs> we should have Caesar Milan try and read Chris Hansen's energy. <laughs> should, we, should we start doing joint just, bookings? Should we have, have both like, people in? <laughs> battle each other? <laughs> yeah. Oh my god! <laughs> it's always, or you know, what it's always my the Poland's. You know the uh, disposable Poland spring waters where you pull the thing out. <laughs> You're very specific with it. I never noticed. Anything that's what. Out. That's what it is. Oh, um, my sweet Riley, get that off the screen. Yeah, it's sad. It's yeah, brutal. Who else do we have sad. coming on? Oh, we have our. Uh, I think you actually turned me on to these guys, and they're fucking hilarious. Colton Dowling is coming on. Mm-hmm. I did turn them on. Do on to them, and uh, he's going to be in. From some of this is bad podcast. Yeah, very very funny podcast. Is that what it's called? Yeah, uh, some of this is bad. Yeah, yeah, it's so good. Yeah, and well, that'll be out on uh, Friday with him, so that'll be that'll be phenomenal. Selling a little cha-ching or a lot, Shopify helps you do your thing. However, you cha-ching. Shopify is a global commerce platform that helps you sell at every stage of your business, from the launch your online shop stage to the real first real life in store stage, all the way to the did we just hit a million dollars stage? Shopify is here to help you grow. Whether you're selling scented soap or offering outdoor out. Elf- Outfits, Shopify helps you sell everywhere from their all-in-one e-commerce platform to their in-person POS system, wherever and whatever you're selling, Shopify's got you covered. Their specialty is turning browsers into buyers. They have the internet's best converting checkout, 36% better on average compared to other leading commerce platforms. Shopify powers 10% of all e-commerce in the United States, and they're the global force behind brands like Allbirds, Rothy's, Brooklyn, and millions of other entrepreneurs across... uh, 
175 countries, every that, size business. That's right. Sign up for $1 per month trial period at shopify.com slash out and about, all lowercase. Go to shopify.com slash out and about now to grow your business no matter what stage you're in. Shopify.com slash out and about. Okay, Vinny sent just to change topics really quick. Yeah, Vin- I saw this. What the fuck? Vinny sent. <laughs> <laughs> hold on, hold on. Vinny's, Vinny sent a, a group text to us today. That was, s- that was on my phone at about seven a.m. And he goes, "We should go over this." Now it's important to know that the algorithm in your phone tells you what you may like. It was on Twitter. It was mm-hmm. on Twitter. Twitter doesn't count. Twitter's yeah. just. This is what Vinny says. I thought it was funny, and I, I want to see if you agree. If you agree with the tweet, the he, quote tweet is funny. He says, "This is gayer than having sex with a man," and it's this. <laughs> I want to know which, this if show. you agree or not. I've, I've not, no, I don't. <laughs> yeah, if you only knew and what I did. One, two, or three, which do you pick? Oh, let I'm me see. Scroll in. <laughs> see, oh, now we're interested. <laughs> <laughs> do you, this could be our entire show, by the way. If you want to do 10 of these a day. I'm picking three. I know you're picking. Uh, uh, maybe <laughs> one. So Hold on. One has porn face, and I don't like that. Let me see. I can't see his face. It hits Look at There two. it is. Porn face? Would you bottom? Oh, oh but is he is three in... Uh, you have to go watch on YouTube and Rumble if you're listening right now in the car. Is three in a speedo though? Because that would be a turnoff. I think they're, I they're sure all, they all are. <laughs> How do you know? Is there a part two? One and one. I think can tell one has one on too. Imagine having a good body. <laughs> I wouldn't be doing that. <laughs> <laughs> I think if the I think if the money was right. Uh, um, I don't like any of them. That. I'm taken. You're taken, man. <laughs> Same. Can the we talk about fucking um, Joe Siwa? And that her new outfit. Look. She has a new look. Who's she's, that? I love JoJo her. Siwa. She is having her moment. She's having her Britney breakout moment. Just like when she was like, I'm not that innocent. She's having that Miley Cyrus. She can't, I can't be tamed. This look is her at the, moment. The, the two, I love Abby Lee Miller more than anything in the world. But uh, now she's showing her, de- her, her devil worshiping lesbian side. There she is, Vinny. You know which one. <laughs> Should I be this for Halloween? This is her new outfit for her new single where she's making out with another woman. And humping, dry humping her in this, in, uh, not dry humping, it was, it was in the rain. Wet humping her in the rain and having, you know, being, uh, being overly, overtly sexual. This is her breakout time. What do you think about this and what her message to all her young fans? I think it's disgusting. No, I'm just kidding. I love it. Good for JoJo. I d- think the funniest part about this is the difference between, you look at the picture on the left, like wholesome, girly pop, rainbow bows in the hair, all the way to the one on the, like that's the transformation. She goes from that that's to crazy. she goes from that to devil. I don't know. You got to do it. She's one of the ones who got out of that fucking cult run by Abby Lee Miller. So um, I love JoJo. Mm, you don't like her. I don't not like her. I just, I, just, I just think this execution. I mean, there's just it could have been so much cooler and like. Well, let's talk about it. Let's talk, look. Look at the makeup. Uh, well. It's horrific. Who's the woman who said I did this myself at the award show? The eyeliner, Julia Fox. This is it's giving Julia Fox eyeliner. Um, I know I understand the concept of it. It's just like it's giving like ice skater, uh, uh like it's giving Blades of Glory. Uh, yeah, it's 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 a making a mockery of what she should have been. Like, there's no there's nothing cool or effortless about this. It's so forced and so like, hey, hey, look at me. I'm <laughs> I'm gonna eat pussy and no one's gonna tell me differently. I'm, gonna, <laughs> I'm, gonna, I'm, gonna, I'm an adult now. It's like it's like so forced and not thought. I mean, I'm, there's no thought process. I mean, maybe there is. Maybe those wings mean something. I don't know. I just think it could have been done so much um, more fashion forward and more more conceptual. I just think it's it's a, a, like a cop out and it's tired. Well, you know, I'm gonna I'm just gonna agree with you because I don't really have whatever JoJo. See, I mean, what is this for? iHeartRadio. They had some event, but that's not it. That's that's this is also her like her new look that she's gonna be giving from the whole album, like the whole album. This is her look of the album. It's like the uh, it's like Lil Nas X almost, like where he went full Satan. This mm. is the thing about gay people. We do too much, in every sense of everything. There's too much drama. There's too much look at me. There's too much medication ro- rolling through Nana's veins. <laughs> there's just there's just too much. I think we need to do a little bit less. I think we need to fall back a little bit. Jojo, I'm not looking at you, but I'm looking at you a little bit. Well, Nas X, I definitely agree. He's always doing so much. I don't know. We do the most. I guess maybe maybe keep maybe do more. I mean, what could possibly be more than this though? She would have to wear a cape. She have to come in on a jetpack. Wasn't Little Nas S X like a vagina or something for Halloween? <laughs> was it pussy for Halloween? Yeah, like he was something crazy. He just like always trolling. Like he has tampons. a no, no. He was a bloody tampon for Halloween. Oh, oh. 
No, you were that. <laughs> you were that one year. Lil Nas X has a humongous oh, yeah. dick. Yeah. That's too much. This is this is like, too much. Like, yeah. what, is like he does shit like this and then complains when he gets shit when he knows he's gonna get shit. It's just like he's got the biggest dick ever. Lil How Nas do X. you know? It leaked it's online. Well, can we find it? I'm sure if you yeah, Google Lil, Nas, Lil Nas X's dick, it's it's exactly what you think it would be. Well, are we shocked? RuPaul's Drag Race final three have been leak. announced. There's a guy who's looked up looked up news before. <laughs> just types in leak. <laughs> no, this is gonna be a. It's not gonna come up on this. Probably Twitter. Yeah, you gotta hit Twitter, brother. I'm so excited to see what Vinny's search history on Twitter is. What is it? <gasps> Lil Nas X leak. Just type in dick. Is that it under the gra a gray blanket? <laughs> <laughs> I don't know. Scroll down. Well, it's large and it's black. So um, go to nowshewilltour.com, everyone. Please. Don't beg tickets. them. If they don't want to come, they don't have to come. Okay. We don't want you there if you don't want to be there. Yeah, we don't want you to come. Don't buy tickets. Don't buy tickets. Don't, don't come care. to the show. We want to do a show to an empty room. Yeah. And you're going to miss out if you're not there. So joke is on you. Nashville tour .com. See you guys on Friday.